And now I would like to introduce to the stage Christina Sarka. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christina Safka, a signature brand stylist, a camera confidence coach, and the host of Creative Hub TV, where I give you a chance to share your story with the world. This is a place for you to be seen and heard. Because if you're in business today, video is the future. This is how you get your message to the world. But getting your message to the world can be a scary thing, especially if you've never been on video before. Have you ever felt so fearful that you're completely immobilized in that moment? You can't make a decision. I have found that by simply changing the word fear to mean something else, I can get power back into my life. I love this acronym. FEAR stands for false evidence appearing real. Did you catch that? False evidence appearing real, F-E-A-R. And suddenly, my whole perspective is changed. Research tells us that our mind is so powerful. It is so, so powerful. I use imagination to shift my mind from this to this. Have you ever been to a movie theater and you've watched a scary movie and the sound is so loud? It's really, really loud. Imagine this, the scenes are scary, the actors are really traumatizing you. Now imagine suddenly I'm starting to turn the volume down all the way to silence. Do you think there'd be any more power? Do you think perhaps maybe it would lose its stimulus? So here's what I know. If I imagine my fear in that moment of fear when it isn't happening, I can use my mind to take the stimulus away by quietening those voices in my mind. And suddenly, that fear isn't scary. And then I can use that knowledge that I have. And suddenly, that fear can dissipate so quickly, so quickly. I know fear. There was a time in my life, I was about five years old. I'm the eldest of three children. And for the first time in my life, I felt fear. Have you ever felt fear? You know how gripping it is? This thing really, really gripped me. And you know, it, it gripped me for my entire childhood. Have you ever been scared? What's the first thing you want to do? You want to run and hide. But being the eldest, I couldn't run and hide. So I chose to stop speaking. I gave myself a speech impediment and that was my power. Now it's it really served me as a child, but it was a disaster as a teenager. I was ridiculed. I was a stuttering fool and a mess. And it took ages. I had to learn that fear is false evidence appearing real. I had to learn to use my imagination to turn down that volume. And all of a sudden, I started to feel that I could come out of this mess and come into here. And just 12 months ago, I had a dream that I would help others to step out of their fear and give them a place, their own little 
bit of fame, their 10 minutes of fame, to own their story, to own their message, to be seen and heard, that your voice matters and that you are amazing, truly, truly amazing. So those three things, I want you to remember them if you're ever faced with fear. And the first one is remember the acronym, false evidence appearing real. When you see it coming at you, it is just a delusion. Remember who you are. And the second one, use your imagination. It's powerful. Take the stimulus away from the fear before you even go into that fear zone. Or even when you're in that fear zone, use that imagination. And the third one, I've left at last. I'm 49 years old today. And what has seen me through, <laughs> what has seen me through is my higher power. Because people in fear, when you have fear, you are so, you are so stuck. But the power here, people, is that in perfect love, there is no fear. And my perfect love comes from above is my higher power. Today I stand before you transformed. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. You've done it. I did it. Yes. <laughs> That's victory right there. Now, Katrina, you, you are a speaker. And the more that you actually take a hold of that and run with it, the more that you realise that there are stages in the world that are waiting for you to step onto it. There are people out there that are waiting to hear your message. And, and my encouragement to everyone here, including you as well, is I need you to change what it says on your LinkedIn profile, what it says, what it says in your email signature, and write, Speaker. <laughs> You're a speaker. You're mesmerising up on stage. You're a great story storyteller and story shower we saw here today. And, you know, you've, I, I feel as if that there is a brand new chapter that is about to be written for your life. Wow. And this new chapter, it is actually going to be on stage. Wow. You are a speaker. Give her a hand. Wow. Well done. I really believe in you. Come on. Give her a hand.